Shalom Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kadash. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone for teaching me this truth. And peace and salutations to all the Akim out there, kicking this word in truth and sincerity. Now, I'm going to title this testimony, Love Wisdom. And I'm not going to do an introduction, I'm just going to let the, the story tell itself. Uh, a couple of nights ago, a couple of nights ago I was in, I was going through that lowered state, you know, when you first realize you're entering that lowered state, you know, at least for me, it, I don't I don't take it very well until I realize what's going on. Um, so I'm in that, realizing that uh, being tested definitely financially and, and even spiritually and uh I don't want to say emotionally, but I, there was there was some you know some feelings came up like dang how, I don't understand how I'm supposed to go forward with this, this you know and this truth because I mean it's, it, my my spirit was definitely being tested you know what I mean and uh, bring up Sirach Sirach tw two and four which talks about being cheerful when you're in that lowered state it, it took a minute but and it was and some prayers before I, I pulled out of it. But I eventually made it through. Anyhow, Sirach 2 and 4 says, What whatsoever is bought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. And that was definitely me the other night. <clears throat> um, I, I, it, was a, it was in the evening, I was getting ready to pray, and I, I, I couldn't even just just for like 10 minutes I couldn't even bring myself to pray I didn't have that spirit on me to be able to do it I was like I can't I can't do this right now I don't even know why but I, I pushed through opened up my prayer book and, uh, and you know and got the prayers in. and you know what I, in a way not in a way for sure I, I, this is something I asked for and this is something we're all, all asking for we're all asking to be tried and proved to Yahweh to show that we're worthy of the kingdom and I even have a prayer that <laughs> every time I open up the prayer book and I see it and it's ready it's time for me to do this prayer I'm like shaking my head I'm like man I know what I'm asking for when I throw this prayer up and and um, it always delivers you know I after a couple of days a week that that challenge that fire is delivered to me and I'm like, man, I, I'm asking for this. You know what I mean? You're like you're asking to get your ass kicked continually. That that prayer actually is based on uh, wisdom three and six. Let me pull that up real quick. Bear with me. This is wisdom three and six, and it says. As gold in the furnace hath tried them, got slack it. As gold in the furnace has has he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. So he's the most high is trying us like gold in a furnace to get all all the impurities out of us, so we're worthy for the kingdom. So this is a pair I throw up continually. And like I said, man, I always shake my head like, man, I, I can't believe I'm asking for this ass whooping, but I know what I'm doing it for. So anyhow, I bring myself to get into the prayer. Like, man, it was like walking through through fire, just like just to just to say a prayer. You know what I mean, I've never had had it this bad where I can't even say a prayer. So I, I say the prayer and then the prayer I throw up is a. Uh, is cast not that cast not the spirit away from me, and this is based on the Psalms fifty one eleven. I'm going to pull that up right now. <clears throat> I, I throw this prayer up daily because I, you know, that's a scary thing being having the the Holy Spirit taken away from us, I, and I worry about that frequently. So I'm always throwing this prayer up, you know, just to make sure that Holy Spirit stays on me. And I cast this. I throw this one up because I really felt like, like. It was being taken away from me in that moment so this is Psalms 51 and 11 and it says cast not away from thy presence 
and take not thy Holy Spirit, oh, Holy Spirit from me. So I throw that prayer up and I sit with it for a couple of minutes and I swear you not, I start to feel not just a little better, way better. I felt so much better after throwing that prayer up that I was able to get through the rest of my prayers for the evening. So, you know, I'm grateful for that. And then I go to sleep and uh, I have the craziest dream. And that, that's pretty much what this, uh, this testimony is about is, is the dream. So I'm running, um, I'm running from these people. I'm with this lady, this, this woman who actually I, I realize uh, she's like a, she represents my ex. Well, she looks like my ex partner and me and her are running from these dudes who, who just straight want to kill us. You know, they got guns, assault rifles, they're riding around on the back of Jeeps and, and they're just looking for us. And we're, we're on the side of the road like hiding in this high grass and there's like water and it's kind of swampy down there and the sun goes down we get and we get separated for that evening she goes off into the forest and i'm hiding kind of next to the road not really worried about her and 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 feeling kind of feeling safe in this evening anyways the next day we get back together we meet back up on the side of this road still and I'm realizing man this this is a crazy situation but I'm really happy that I'm with this person who in the dream I think represents my ex because she's she's taken on her form <clears throat> so we're walking next we're, we're walking next to the side of the road and I pass this uh, this memorial on the side of the road I'm like look there's a there's a memorial there I wonder what that's all about now now mind you even through all this chaos, because the next day we're still kind of worried about these guys finding us, but we're moving further and further away from that. Uh, even through all that chaos, I'm noticing that the landscape is just beautiful. We're like really green. The, the dream's real vivid. Grass is green. The forest is green. Everything's beautiful. That memorial we walk, we walk past, beautiful. Everything was just like you know pristine. I'm like, wow, this is great. We, <laughs> through all that, I'm like, with this awesome person, and everything's beautiful, even though everything's kind of chaotic right now. Sorry, I got that sun behind me. I'm trying to adjust it so it's not flashing so much. Bear with me. I don't know if I can even do much about that. Anyhow, I'm just going to go on, try to block it with my big-ass head. <laughs> um... So the sun starts going down again and we, we find this safe house and uh, everything's all cool. Everything's mellowed out. I think we've gotten further, far enough away from these guys that we don't have to worry about anything. And <clears throat> the sun's going down. I look out and see in the distance that the clouds and the sunset just make this this beautiful color of gold like this the clouds are gold the bright gold vivid gold and in between the clouds uh the the sun was like shining through but the light of the sun was silver and it was just like there was such a strong contrast between the gold and the silver that it was i mean it was just it was mind blowing and so i called my partner over I'm like, hey, come, come check this out. The sunset, it's it's freaking beautiful. So we sit, and we we look at the sunset for a minute, and then uh, sun goes down, and it's it's time to time to find a place to crash. So I'm I'm looking at her. I'm like, hey, so what what are we gonna do? How, where are we gonna sleep at? You know what I mean? And I mean through this whole dream until, until the end, she doesn't say anything. But so when I ask her this question, she motions. And points to this this tent that's just sitting there. That's just perfect, <clears throat> perfect for us. Uh, and it's just it's like all clean. And she unzips it. Like it's hey, it's ready to go. Let's you know we we we're good. We're taken care of tonight. I'm like man, this is fucking great. I don't know who this this <laughs> who this person is. <clears throat> I mean I I know it, she's taking the form of my ex, but I'm just like 
that's not the character of my ex, you know what I mean? She, she was not really all that um, resourceful and, 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 and wise. So anyhow, there's something wrong with that, something the tent's sitting on. So I'm like, I gotta fix this real quick. And I'm looking around on the ground, there's like a nail loose or something like that. Looking around on the ground and I found it, find this hammer, I fix it. We're all good to go we're, and we, we go to sleep. Now, when I wake up the next day, we're in, we're in a different place. I don't know where we're at, but I'm like, like we're, we're still on this adventure. I'm like worrying, man, this is, this is pretty crazy. How, how much longer are we going to be able to deal with this? We're, we're homeless. We're running around. I, I don't think we have any destination. Don't know where we're going. We're just basically on the run. You know what I mean? So I ask her, hey, what, how much longer do you think we can do this? And she says, about six months to a year. <laughs> I have no idea what that, that means, but the rest of this dream I'm going to break down because uh, I'm going to break it down with scripture because I was inspired to read wisdom for some reason the next day because I, I sat and meditated on it. And I'm like, wait, maybe, maybe she wasn't my ex. Maybe it was she represented wisdom. That's when I, like, that's what kind of resonated with my spirit. So I bust out the book of wisdom, start reading, and bam, I was like, wow, this, I'm, so I'm, I'm going to get into it. I'm going to share that with y'all. You know, I'm going to start with Isaiah, Isaiah 33 and 6, actually, because through all that, through all that chaos, because I was with this person, this woman, I felt, I felt safe. I felt like everything was, even though we were homeless, we're running around, we had no idea where we're st staying. I still felt everything was pretty stable because of my partnership with this person. If I was alone on this, it would have been, it would have been crazy. You know, I, I wouldn't have felt as comforted and safe. But because I was with this person, this woman, I was like, man, we're good. You know what I mean? Like, for some reason, this, this made me feel very comfortable. Anyhow, let, let me bust this out. Isaiah 33 and 6. Isaiah 33 and 6, and it says... And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation in fear of fear of Yahweh is his treasure. So wisdom that that's what I came to realize was that this woman that I was with was wisdom, and that's why I felt so stable in all that chaos, all that craziness, and why I was able to even appreciate the landscape around me and, and the beauty of the sunset. But moving on, I'm going to go on to wisdom one and six. Wisdom one and six, and it says, for wisdom is a loving spirit. And that's really all I wanted, all I wanted to get with, of that verse because this being, this person, this woman that I was with was just like, I never, I didn't feel any kind of an animosity. Like that's, it, that's how I knew it wasn't my, my ex-partner because there was always some sort of, especially towards the end, there was always some sort of like a discomfort there. There was, there was a lot of, um, there wasn't, there wasn't that much love. And around this 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 person, I felt slocky. I felt a lot of love. That was pretty comforting. I also felt um, I felt love and I felt care, especially when I was asking her about the tent, where we were gonna sleep, and like her pointing to the tent, but like, hey, we're good. Was like, I felt like, oh, right, she's you know, she's being resourceful and caring. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm gonna jump to a wisdom chapter 6 chapter 6 and 15 and it says to think therefore upon her is perfection of wisdom and whoso watcheth for her 
shall I quickly be without care. So I'm like, where are we going to sleep tonight? Not really worried, but like, man, what's, what are we going to do? And bam, without care, just like that. You know what I mean? Tents covered. We're tents there. We got a place to sleep. We're good. And I even found that uh, something in wisdom on that memorial, you know, I, I, it seems connected to me. I'm gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and read it. Let, let you all get, you know, develop your own opinion on it. But to me, it, it really connected. So this is wisdom chapter 8 and 13. And it says, moreover, by the means of her, I shall obtain immortality and leave behind, leave behind me an everlasting memorial to them that come after me. So we're on this road. We pass this memorial. Of course, other people are going to come down this road. They're going to pass this memorial. So the more memorial to me represented that this this is uh, this immortal spirit that will come from from walking with wisdom, and that's the memorial there to to represent that. So I don't know that that might be a reach there, but it really resonated with me. That sun. No, I'm just gonna flip it. Let me come over here. There. A lot better. All right. Moving on. So, um, my ex-partner, you know, she was that it that this being took her form made sense because she was a pretty beautiful woman, and so I'm riding with this not only just person who's just like rolling with me through all this crazy nonsense we're getting you know people threaten our lives but she's beautiful and also <laughs> loving you know what i mean is so anyways i'm going to jump into this uh, scripture right here wisdom eight this is wisdom chapter eight verse one and it says wisdom reach, reaches from one end to another mightily and sweetly doth she order all things. Sorry, a little, I was a little head there. I loved her and sought her out from my youth. And I desired to make her my spouse. And I was a lover of her beauty. Now this one, this one reson resonated with me because... You know, all my life, I was really... I, I thought... I thought it was women that I really was seeking love from. But in, in my worst times, it, when things were, you know, when, when I just had to rely on faith to get me through a situation or my own, my own know-how, it was, it was wisdom that, that comforted me. It was always wisdom that was there to make, to get me through things. And of course it's, you know, the, the mercy of the most high too but he would give me give me knowledge in certain situations that would help me navigate through them and I loved that I love that and uh, you know there, there's more I want to add to that but I'll, I'll get to it I'll get to it I just want to jump into the scriptures to, to finish this here <clears throat> Because there's a point that I want to make that's attached to that. You know, I'm going to jump right in. So, I realized, as I sat and meditated on this for a bit, and I realized that there was, through, all, through a, a, a lot of the women I've been with, there was only two that I actually loved. So I sat and I, I, I uh, meditated on what that was, about them, this this dream, and then reading this chapter or reading the book of wisdom. I didn't read the whole thing uh, this time through, but it just made me realize what it was that made me love them, and it wasn't really them. So, what I loved about these women was the fact that when when I shared something with them, you know, some point of wisdom, some point of understanding. And then I saw them under like they I saw them take it in, understand it, and then reflect it back to me. That's when I love them. 
it wasn't like I, there was an initial attraction oh yeah they're beautiful whatnot but there was initially i realized that they were more um their vessels and these women came to me kind of not necessarily blank slates but they were they're cheerful um they're loving but they there wasn't a bunch of garbage that came out of them like a lot of these modern women they're full of garbage man just just trash you know social media has got them filled up they're sleeping with a bunch of guys they, they it's got them filled up with wicked wicked spirits demons uh, all this feminism crap in their heads like these women they were they didn't have any of that their minds were silent so when i gave them bits of wisdom they took it in they reflected it back to me i love those women and it made me through this dream and through reading this chapter it made me realize that i love wisdom and i love anything that could reflect wisdom back to me that's what i love so, moving on here. <clears throat> these these women, man. And then this is not what this is about. This this testimony isn't about wisdom. I'm sorry, it's not, like, it's not about women. It's about wisdom. And 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 seeking with love seeking to love wisdom. But the women, they you know, they're they're deprived of it. They're deprived of wisdom. And you know they're they're supposed to be vessels for it. They're you know they get the wisdom for their, their fathers and then eventually from their husbands if if they do get married. But like Job, what is it? Job uh, got it got it here. Job thirty nine and seventeen. It says that you know they're they're deprived of wisdom, and it's a, it's a terrible thing. And we got these men out here simping and falling in love with these women who are just just full of sh- shit man like i don't know how they could do it like i'm i'm not even like the, the appeal of the out appear outward appearance of a woman because i can sense her wickedness it does nothing for me man i love the woman who can reflect wisdom back to me and back into the world that's what i came to realize and i felt like that freed me So moving on, I'm going to jump into Wisdom 8. Wisdom chapter 8, verse 4. For she is privy to the mysteries of the knowledge of Yahweh and a lover of his works. And that jumped out to me recalling the, the, the sunset because I pulled her over. And to me, the sunset is always the work of the Most High. I see a sunset, I'm like dang man how how do you do that you know what i mean there's they're not it's not just pretty colors i'm like i'm giving that that thanks to the most high i'm like man you you do amazing things so i pulled her over i'm like look at this you know this is a work of the most high and she appreciates that you know what i mean so that's why that scripture jumped out for me uh going on to verse nine it says therefore i purpose to take her to live Salaki, therefore I purpose to take her to me to live with me, knowing that she would be a counselor of good things and a comfort in cares and grief. And that's why I'm rolling with this this woman on this trip, is because I you know I want her to live with me and I want I want her to take away, you know, take away that grief with her, you know, with her caring spirit. <clears throat> Moving on to verse 16. It's chapter 8, verse 16, and it says, After I am come into my mine house, I will repose myself with her, for her conversation hath no bitterness, and to live with her hath no sorrow, but mirth and joy. And that, that kind of goes back to that last one I read. There's no sorrow there. We're running around, people trying to kill us, you know what I mean? And even through all that, no sorrow. No sorrow, just, you know. I wouldn't say, when we got to that safe house, there's joy there, you know what I mean? And comfort. So, moving on to verse 18. 
and it says, "And great pleasure it is to have it is to have her friendship, and in the works of her hands are infinite riches, and in the exercise of co conference with her prudence, and in talking with her good report." And I went to, went about seeking how to take her to me. Now, right here it says, "Have." To, a great pleasure it is to have her friendship. And that was a pleasure rolling with her. And in talking with her, a good report. Maybe that, you know, I'm just really thinking about that. It goes back to the end of the dream where I'm like, how much longer do you think we can, we can do this? And, you know, she said six months to a year. But when she said that, it was just like, she wasn't like, man, she wasn't worried about it. She was just like nonchalantly, yeah, we can do this for about another six months to a year. I'm like, dang, man. Who am I rolling with here? This one was gangster. <laughs> so that, that was that good report right there for me. Now moving on to verse 21. And it says, Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, except Yahweh gave her to me. And that was the point of wisdom also to know whose gift she was. And I prayed unto the Lord, and besought him, and with, and with my whole heart, I said, and I'm not going to go on from there, but basically, I'm moving on. I'm moving into where where this wisdom comes from. You know, we we know this. We get wisdom from the Most High, but this is I'm just highlighting it for you. Maybe I'll, maybe some of you guys don't know that. You know, we gotta we gotta ask for wisdom from the Most High. It's a gift. Just like a, a, a gift from a, a, a wife who's uh, a wonderful wife is a gift from the Most High. Wisdom, the same thing. And we, we seek wisdom. We get wisdom by seeking the Most High. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to jump over to Wisdom 6, 6 and 17. To talk about where wisdom comes from. Six and seventeen, and it says, "For, for the very, Slocky, for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, and that's discipline in this truth. Uh, doing your prayers, your fasting, uh, showing honor to the Most High, whatever, whatever you got to do to discipline yourself in this truth. That's where we we get we get that gift of wisdom from." And this, uh, this, this dream was was one of these gifts for me because it opened up so much about myself that I didn't understand, so much about wisdom that I didn't understand. Which is like, you know, after going through that hardship, opened that up for me. And I'm going on to where are we? I'll keep going. I'll keep going. So I'll start again. For for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline. And the care of discipline is love. And love is the keeping of her laws. So, care of discipline is love. And that love is the keeping of the laws of, of this truth. So, we got to keep the laws. Stay, stay, stay in line with these laws. And we, we get blessed with, with wisdom. And how much wisdom, how much more wisdom will we, we be given in the kingdom? I can't even imagine. You know what I mean? It's gonna be, it's gonna be something amazing. So, moving on here. <clears throat> and corrupt, incorruption maketh us near unto Yahweh. And incorruption make maketh us near unto Yahweh. So we follow these laws. Sorry, I think I missed a part here. Let me jump. Let me go back. <clears throat> and love is keeping of her laws, and giving heed unto. Her laws is the assurance of incorruption. So we follow the laws, we avoid all this corruption. And there's a lot of corruption around us. That's why in this time, it's so important to follow the laws to the best of our abilities because this whole this whole place is polluted, so corrupted. And incorruption maketh, uh, maketh us near to Yahweh. So we follow those laws, we, we stay unpolluted and clean, and we get closer to to the most high so 
I'm going to read from from Proverbs 4 and 1 right now. Proverbs 4 and 1 and it says Hear ye children the instruction of the instruction of a father and attend to no understanding for I give you good doctrine forsake not my law for I was my father's son tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother he taught me also and said unto me let thine heart retain my words keep my commandments and live get wisdom Get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. Therefore get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament ornament of grace. A crown of glory she shall deliver to thee. I just wanted to close with that one because that was just, it just kind of hit home hits my point home so i hope this is edifying for you i hope you you get something out of this i pray you akim get something out of this and just pursue that pursue that wisdom love wisdom that's all i got shalom